Hi, I'm Juliana Murphy. And I'm Sophie Blonde, and we're from the ramp station. At this station, we learned all about inclined planes. And how to factor mechanical advantages. We first, we carried the wheelbarrow up the stairs. And then, we, ro we rolled it up the inclined plane. 96.8 minus 64. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, that's the yeah. bill. Yeah. Wait. Who's got the calculator? 30. Yeah. That's 30. Carolyn can take it. 96.4 okay. minus his weight Here. is what you've got in the wheelbarrow. 96.4 minus, minus 64. 64. 32, 4. Okay, who's got, who's the scribe? Write it down. Write it down. Alright, me and Carol will Well, we'll have the same people carry it. Everybody has a chance. Why do you need to have weight? Well, it's the weight of this. Turn around. Yeah, yeah. Our objective is that we had to get a boy in a wheelchair into a treehouse. We had a lot of ideas. Most of them were crazy, but we also had three working ideas. The arch, a demi screw, a pulley, and a ramp. How many of me would be in 10 tons? First we figured out how much I weighed. Then we weighed me holding a calculator box. And one time there's 2,000 pounds. We figured out how many pounds were in 10 tons. 65 tons, 25 tons, 500 tons, and 1,110 tons. Then we figured out how many of me would be in 10 tons. It would take 288 of me to make 10 tons. Almost 289 pieces, okay? So let's do, let's do the next one, okay? We have 65 tons, which is a much bigger uh, piece. So we want to know how many pounds we have. How would we work that out? Multiply it by 2,000? Okay, so one time equals 2,000 pounds. We have 65 tons. So 65 times 2,000. Work that out. 65 times 2. Yep, 13,000. Is it 13,000 or is it 130,000? 130,000. 130,000 pounds, okay? Place value. Place value. So we have 130,000 pounds. And now we want to figure out how many Peters that's is going to equal 130,000 pounds. So we divide by 69. Well done, Hannah. Hello, my name is Ava Bamson. And my name is Anna Postel. And, the, and, the, and this activity that, that we are showing, that me and Anna like the most, yeah. is called the trebuchet. And you would put nails, and, and, well, and how this would work is you would put nails in, in the bucket, and an eyeball on the end of the long. This eyeball is also a rubber ball, it's not an eyeball. Um, so you would, um, if you had 50 nails, it may not go as far as 100. So we learned that over trying it. Now, um, my friend Ava is going to show you um, with 50 or so nails. Now, before we start, with the length of this eyeball, if, if this eyeball only had shorter than this, String, string of arm, then it will probably go a little bit 
farther. But if you had this much, it might go not as far as you want it. So all my classmates are watching this, and they are, and they are going to test us how far this can go. They will give us a yay if it goes far and a no if it goes not that far. Watch out, guys. No. no. Okay, it didn't go as far. So maybe I have to put some more nails in. Now this will probably make it 150 nails. Now, I have more nails in here, but I have the same length of yarn. So maybe it, it will go farther. Now, I should t probably take this on just to see if it goes far. Yay! Yay! With more nails in it, we, we, we found out that it can go as, as far. But with only 50 nails, it probably can't go that far. First, no. Oh, I don't Hello, my name is Ava Banson. And my name is Anna Postel. And at this activity, this one again, please. Oh, my name is Ava Banson. And my name is Anna Postel. And we both liked this uh, this activity the most. It was called the trebuchet. And how it and how it it um. Oh my God! Please don't forget. I beg you. Oh, my name is Chloe Ramia. And I'm Abigail Sinclair. And I and I'm from Grade Five K. And today we did a simple machine workshop. And the idea to get a person, the idea was to get a person in a wheelchair up into the treehouse. We came up with this simple one. Can we start over?